Dozens of retailers in Carillion Arcade have been dealt a massive blow, given just four weeks to shut up shop, paving the way for a redevelopment. Some business owners have been there for decades and say they've been left with nowhere to go before Christmas. It's been a family-run business inside the Carillion Arcade for more than two decades, but now Coro Jewellery will be forced to close its doors for the final time. And we've gone through COVID, we've gone through all the lockdowns, and we, I mean, we're still here. On Friday, owner Michael Diekman was slapped with this, an eviction notice from arcade owner Dexas, informing him a decision has been made to vacate all internal mall-facing retailers, making way for a major redevelopment. But to be told that you've only got four weeks to yeah, get your affairs and, and you know, sort it out is, is tough. The landmark building opened in 1982 and is actually named after the Carol and Bells, which sit at the entry to the mall on Hay Street. It's another blow for Perth retailers as a piece of history is rebuilt. More than 25 of its stores will sit empty over the festive season. Had at least waited until after Christmas, at least. Um, because I'm sure that'll be the death of a few of the small retails. The arcade itself will remain as a walkway between the Murray and Hay Street malls, but the stores inside will be boarded up and bare by October 21. This is disappointing, as I say. We want to see every shop in every arcade in every mall full. Stores facing Hay and Murray Street will be allowed to stay open and trade until Christmas, but they've been told they'll eventually have to shut shop once development begins. Dexas has revealed its $200 million plan to redevelop the space, but exactly when construction will commence is unclear. Olivia Donaldson, Nine News.